The Ohio EPA confirms thousands of gallons of raw sewage poured out into the ground in Fairport Harbor, some of it making it into Grand River after a sewer line break last week. Good evening. I'm Chris Flanagan in tonight for Danita. And I'm Lee Jordan. The incident caught on video by a former employee of Lake County Utilities. News Channel 5 troubleshooter Joe Paganakis has the exclusive story. And Joe joins us live in the newsroom. Joe, is there any kind of a health threat here? Well, fortunately, there is no health risk, but the Ohio EPA tells News Channel 5 if the spills continue, fines will be issued and they'll demand Lake County Utilities find a a permanent solution. Okay, this is raw sewage. Just last week, January 11th, the middle of the afternoon, home video shot by former Lake County Utilities employee Jeff Gatchel. Thousands of gallons of raw sewage being pumped out onto the ground at this Fairport Harbor pumping station. The EPA confirms some of the sewage making it to the Grand River. Whatever you can flush down your toilet, they're just deliberately pumping on the ground. And uh, they just do this every time there's a break. The spill took place just 500 yards from a major housing development, a pond, and a marina. Lake County Utilities took the proper steps in reporting the 7,000 gallon sewer spill in this report to the Ohio EPA. But Gatchel claims more can be done to prevent this spill, past spills, and spills in the future. When they get a break, they'll patch up a hole. They're not fixing the problem. The problem is these lines are, they're either too old, uh, they're too, you know, they're too brittle, they're not they're not sized properly. There's a lot, been a lot of uh, construction since they put these lines in. And here's the key reason why the sewage spill happened in the first place. A line break right here at Singer and 3rd. Gatchel claims Lake County Utilities brought out a tanker to handle the overflow, but then didn't bring out additional tankers to handle the spill. Instead, pumping the sewage out onto the ground. We contacted Lake County Utilities about this spill, and it says it's investigating as to why more tanker trucks weren't sent to the scene. Gatchel says more must be done to protect Fairport Harbor and the Grand River. I grew up in this area. I mean, there's a pond right here I used to fish in. I used to walk right through here and fish in the river. I used to ride my bike along these tracks. We used to play in this field. And Lake County Utilities told us it understands it's in a battle in dealing with the aging Grand River sewage system. Some lines are 80 years old. The utility has launched an extensive line assessment program and is working to find grant money to fund all those line replacements, Lee. Well, so Joe, could this situation become critical? Could the EPA step in? Oh, yes, the Ohio EPA could step in. They tell us if the spills continue, fines will be assessed and they'll demand a line replacement action plan to protect the Grand River and the surrounding neighborhoods and marinas. Let's hope it doesn't get to that point. Well, it sounds like they had their work cut out for them there in Lake County. Joe, thank you.